Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Tabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to quickly do um, a sort of more in-depth look at the Stamperia um, paper um, lines that they've got. So I've got four here to have a look at. And the reason being is because when I was hunting around um, for Stamperia papers, which was quite some time back, I couldn't actually find anything with kind of an in-depth look at... Um, you know the papers so kind of google images you get kind of either very small thumbnails or maybe you don't get all the papers in the pack and things like that so i thought that i would come along and share these with you and um you know just in case you're considering any of them so as you know what you're going to get so we're going to have a look at the stamperia music um papers so that's the name of that paper line we're going to have a look at the stamperia spring botanic the stamperia precious and the Stamperia House of Roses. Now, I have to say, I feel like I have seen the House of Roses, um, possibly. So, yeah, I may be making a sweeping statement. But I definitely couldn't find the others. Um, so, yeah, let's kind of get in and have a look and see what what um, you get in these paper packs. So, I can't remember now. I feel like you get ten sheets. But I will double check that. I'm sure it tells us somewhere. Yes, 10 double-faced sheets, they call them double-faced. Um, so you get, now what's quite nice about the Stamperia ones is, you know, the, um, you know, the outer packaging, if you like. They also kind of include that in, um, you know, I mean, not only do you get obviously these nice patterns that you can, of course, use, but it's double backed. So, you know, again, it's another paper. So this is the Stamperia music. And yeah, you get obviously on the inside of the, you know, the outside cover um, is a sheet music one. So really nice there. And it's kind of got some brown splotches and what have you. So that's that one. Then on the facing page, and I just can't tell you how much I absolutely love, love, love this page. So I'm going to kind of try and bring it up um, slightly to the camera so that you can really see in good detail. Because this was what I found was lacking when I was kind of looking. I just couldn't find anything. In fact, I'm going to tear this off so it's a bit easier to actually bring up to the camera. I couldn't find anything that actually showed me in great detail kind of any of the papers and the pages and things. So that's that one. Isn't it just beautiful? I mean, I absolutely love this combination of the colours. It's all these browns and teals and um, ivory and things. So just scrumptious, scrumptious colours. That's that one. Then on the reverse side, you've got this gorgeous um, plainish one. So you've got just a little bit, you know, touches of damask in the corner. And then you've got predominantly kind of plain area there. So really nice that. Then this one here, again, oh, how gorgeous is this sheet? So you've got some piano keys. I love how they look down the side here. You've got, um, you know, kind of a variety of like different florals kind of there in very small kind of um, samples, I guess. Then you've got like some collaging going on here. You've got this round circle, circu uh, circular piece, um, some damask here, some more sheet music loads and loads of different bits and pieces i mean it's just scrumptious isn't it i love the piano and the piano obviously is kind of um you know blended so as it picks up some of the background papers i mean they're just such pretty papers to be honest so they're just really my type of um my type of thing and then on the back of that you've got some sheet music and again just picking up some of the kind of damask in the corner and a couple of kind of splotches and that's in kind of brown. So, I mean, look at how beautifully that goes together with the teals. It's just lovely, isn't it? Then you've got this one, which <clears throat> it's collage sections and you've got lots of kind of, you know, what I would call like strips of kind of different florals and things like that. You've got lots of, you know, squarish kind of, um, oh, what's, what's the word? <laughs> what's the word that I was saying um yeah lots of square kind of collage pieces and again another one of those circular pieces so again really really lovely I mean this would be a scrumptious page for tags and things like that so yeah I might have to come back and make some tags with that um and then we've got the sheet music again on the back this is a copy or a repeat of that one that was on the inside of the front cover so again beautiful then on this page here, we've got kind of journal cards and I love how they've done these. So you've got, 
patterned on the front with kind of the violin and all these gorgeous little cherubs and things i love the frame as you know i always love frames lots of pretty patterns and then on the back you've just got a kind of plain version of what's on the front if you see what i mean so is that when you cut them out you've got a you know really nice coordinating kind of piece so they are just gorgeous aren't they absolutely lovely then you've got this one now this one again i mean obviously this is a 12 by 12 size paper pad so or paper pack so um you know it is quite big and obviously you know this may be a struggle to use she's quite a massive kind of lady on there um but you know of course you could use her you know either torn down so you just use a part of her or you could use her in maybe a mixed media kind of canvas or something like that you know if you were struggling because she's a bit on the large side you don't have to kind of use her in her entirety you could either you know cut her down and use her on a larger project i.e a canvas or something or you could obviously you know tear her out um, again you've got the lovely sheet music there and I love the way it's just picking up all the kind of blendy type bits all around the edges and then on the back you've got pretty much kind of the same page but on a blank version if you see what I mean so no lady obviously on here and none of the sheet music and things it's just a kind of blank of it <clears throat> then on this one so you've got this gorgeous page I mean I have to say I think this is my favorite page so far um but it is a long time since I've looked through these papers so who knows I might actually change my mind once I'm looking through them properly um so yeah you've got kind of sheet music and things again you've got some title pages from you know what I think looks like title pages from sheet music you've got some scripty bits some floral bits this beautiful harp down here in the corner I mean it's just such pretty paper I just Oh, really, really love it. And again, you know, you could kind of cut the elements out individually rather than use it as a whole. And then on the back, isn't this just scrumptious? It's just a collage of all those different sheet musics and things with, again, splotches and, um, yeah, splotches kind of on it. Then this one, you have got a variety of tags and little kind of envelope type pieces. So just kind of show you that. Obviously, I'm struggling to fit this in slightly because obviously it's a 12 by 12 and my camera doesn't go as high as that. Um, it then kind of, you know, loses its place on the desk, if you see what I mean. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. You've got some tags here. I mean, how much do you love that tag? It's just beautiful, isn't it? And then on the back, again, just like that one with the journal cards, you've got plain versions of the envelope, of the tags, of the cards. So just absolutely scrumptious. Oh, I might have just superseded my favourite page now. So um, look at this beautiful page here. So you've got obviously a whole collage of different pieces. So again, you could use all of these pieces individually, cutting out kind of individually or tearing out individually um, to use them on their own. Or of course you could use this, you know, as an entire sheet, but it's just so gorgeous, isn't it? And then on the back, You've got some collaging around the edge of this lovely plain kind of frame. So it's just such a lovely pad. <clears throat> then here you've got a whole bunch of smallish tags. And again, aren't they just so pretty? And, you know, it's all just, oh, it's so scrummy, isn't it? Just the most beautiful colours. And then again, on the back, you've got sheet music, but this time in that beautiful teal colour. So, I mean, it all just coordinates and just looks so pretty together. Then here you've got, again, a kind of similar-ish, oops, similar-ish page to the collage -y type page. Um, but in that it's just really sheet music rather than kind of all the different bits and pieces. And then you've got kind of a variety of different collage elements. So you've got like the violins and the harps and what have you on there. So it's just a really, really pretty page. So yeah. And then on the back again, you've got some sheet music there. And then we're onto the back of the, you know, in the, the back page, I guess. Um, so on the back page, again, I mean, obviously you've got the, you know, the details on the back. But again, they've kind of double-sided it so that you've got this page here with the sheet music. So again, a you know, really nice usable page. So yeah, that's the first one. So that is Stamperia Music and it's just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely love it. Now, 
I just want to quickly put a disclaimer actually I'm not sponsored by Stamperia or anything like that um you know I bought these myself um actually quite some time ago I just haven't used them yet and um yeah because I thought that I may be going to use some of them soon I thought actually you know before I start using them perhaps it would be helpful to come along and do a kind of in-depth look at the different pads because um like I say I just couldn't find that myself when I had been shopping to buy them so that's that one <clears throat> the next one is Stamperia Precious and again isn't this just beautiful I mean even just on the front cover I can just see so many elements that I just would love to use so again I'm going to tear it down obviously so that I can bring it up to the camera a bit clearer so obviously you know on the front cover you've got all these different pieces that you could easily use and then on the back look at this beautiful page it's just scrummy isn't it so lots of cute little flowers all dotted around mixed in amongst this beautiful sort of gold colored script it's not um what do you call it uh foiled or anything so when i say gold i mean in use your imagination it's not actually foiled it's not gold but it it's got a gold kind of look to it and then you've got kind of normal um, greyish black script mixed in with that. So absolutely scrumptious. And look at this page. So again, I'll tear it off to show you. Isn't this so lovely? I just love it. So lots of florals and things mixed in again with the teals and the kind of goldy kind of shades. Um, you know, lots of roses and pinks and oh, it's just very feminine very pretty really 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 lovely and then on the back again it's a kind of ghosty type version of this but without the golds really and without any of the kind of um you know frames and things like that so it's kind of a ghosty kind of image you know just so it ties in so absolutely lovely then on this one <clears throat> You've got this big round circle. Now, again, you may struggle to use that in journals, you know, as we kind of use most of our papers. Again, you could obviously cut it down. You know, you could use, I mean, you could cut out that rose even um, and things like that. You don't have to use this whole circle. I mean, of course you could. You could cut the circle out and use it, you know, fold it over as kind of an insert for like a page. Um, but yeah, I mean, just it's one of those pages that possibly I would sometimes look at and think, oh, I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. So sometimes it's just about looking kind of in a different different way, I suppose. Then this one is on the back. Um, yeah, I mean, I have to be honest, I'm not quite so fussed on this one, but, you know, it's still very pretty. Then this here, again, we've got a whole bunch of tags. Aren't they just scrumptious? I love, love, love them. And then you've got this gorgeous trim down here, which you could obviously kind of incorporate into a belly band or something like that. And then again, that's kind of the repeat of what was on the inside of the front cover. Oops. Then here we've got some journal cards. So again, just tear this one out. Aren't they just so pretty? Oh, I just love, 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 love these. So, and again, they've kind of done like, um, you know, uh, ghosting kind of on the back to make the backs, you know, a finished off journal card, if you see what I mean. So really, really scrumptious. Then on this page here, we've got kind of templates and things for envelopes or an envelope. Um, and then again, more journal cards and things. Um, you've got here a tag. You've got some of these little, um, well, I'm not quite sure what they are, but little, little doobries, let's call them. Um, some little fussy cut roses and then a little kind of bannery type piece there. So again, lots of things that you could fussy cut out kind of individually. You could cut, you know, sort of flowers out and things or, of course, use them as they are. And then look at this. I mean, isn't that just a scrumptious page on its own? I mean, I love some of the backs just as much as I love the fronts. And then here, again, we've got journal cards. A little bit plainer this time so you know you could also incorporate obviously some of the other pieces from the pack you could also mix and match this with the other packs and things so you know really really lovely and look at that back isn't that just gorgeous i mean i love browns and teals together um you know just yeah they're really a scrumptious combination so that back is just lovely isn't it okay then we've got a page of circle tags so here are all the different circles 
So again, you know, I mean, I'm not that keen on cutting circles, as you know, um, but there's no reason why you couldn't fussy cut out, say, flowers from the circles. I'm not saying you'd want to do that necessarily with all of them, but you could certainly do that with some, and then you could, you know, stick the flowers onto the plainer journal cards and things like that. So lots of different options to use this. Then you've got some sheet music on the back of that one. Here you've got a plainish kind of damask um, with lots of kind of blending going over the top. So some of the damask is kind of lost in there and some is more prominent, but beautiful page. And then on the back, it's again, more sort of damask in the beigey colors. And then here we have got, again, kind of the gold um, scripty mixed in with some damask. We've got a couple of kind of framey type images and some roses and things on the sides. And then some damask kind of on the back, all in kind of a goldy shade. So that's that one. Then this one, which I just think this looks very, very vintage wallpaper to me. So isn't that just gorgeous? Love, love, love how that looks. So, you know, this personally, you know, I probably would struggle to cut this up because I just think it's so, so pretty. Um, but again, on the back, you've got the sheet music and things on there. So just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And then we're back onto the back of the, you know, the back cover, which again, obviously they have then given you a kind of bonus sheet with the damask again. So absolutely scrumptious, isn't it? So that one is called Precious. And um, yeah, let me just pop that back into the packets. I'm trying to be really tidy and not just mess these up, you know. I'll probably go back, let's face it, to hoarding the majority. Um, but yeah, so put that to one side. Okay, so the next one is the Spring Botanical or Scream Botanic. Um, as they've called it. So, <clears throat> let's open this one here. Okay. So, this one here, let me get rid of the cellophane. Again, so they're all 10 um, double sided pieces. I mean, aren't they just the most gorgeous papers? So again, I'm going to tear them off to kind of show you. So this one's obviously got these kind of pretty botan uh, botanical, almost like a sort of vine type pattern on the back. And obviously you've got lots of elements on the front that you could also either fussy cut or obviously use kind of as tags or, you know, however really you want to use it. We've then got this page here. So again, it's quite similar, I think, to the front, you know, the inside of the front cover. Um, in that it's a very repetitive kind of leafy looking pattern and then we've got this gorgeous sheet here so again you've got some nice elements you've got this beautiful flower which you could easily fussy cut that out and use that so really really lovely then this one here again it's journal cards and they have been you know ghosted on the back so you've got again the you know the planar backs so really really scrumptious aren't they and again, you know, you could just use all of these as individual kind of um, cut out, you know, fussy cut elements and things. You don't have to use them as the journal cards. Then we've got this one here. Oh, how much do you just love this page? So you've got loads of different, um, I mean, it's, it's to me, this feels like a collage page, but it's very kind of neat in that it's kind of, um, you know, in blocks. So just absolutely scrumptious. And of course, you could cut all of these out and use them as labels and, you know, things like that, really. So absolutely lovely, isn't it? And then on the back, you've got, again, kind of vine. You know, to me, it just looks like a vine type pattern. OK, and then this one here. How gorgeous is this? And you've got that cute little snail as well. Um, but you've got this gorgeous rose and then some smaller roses there. Lots of this green scripty um, pattern. So loads of beautiful um, patterns on here. And then this pretty brown on the back. I mean, I have to say, out of all the packs, this is probably my least um, favourite in just that it's not necessarily a style that I kind of go to very much, botanicals and things. Um, I prefer the damasks and the, you know, the kind of um, ladies and things like that, really. But, you know dragonflies and things not so much I mean I do love them when other people work with them but I just yeah haven't really kind of worked with things like that particularly before 
um but you've got lots of again tags here with nice nice um elements that you could fussy cut out if you didn't want to use them as tags and then again the viney kind of pattern on the back then this here <clears throat> i mean this feels very william morris to me even though it's a kind of patchwork I mean, it might just be this pattern here feels very william morris to me i'm not sure but it's a lovely patchwork um page isn't it i really really love it love the fact that they're very small um samplers kind of thing of the patchwork so yeah really really pretty and then again a kind of vine type pattern on the back this one again you've got kind of all the um the uh, dragonflies and the bugs and things like that again it's not really my usual kind of style um but you have got the nice label down here entomology um and i do like the back of it um you know probably yeah probably more than i like the front of it if i'm truthful then this one here we've got loads of round tags and things and obviously these long tags which again you know you could cut out kind of the individual elements from any of these you don't have to use them as they're kind of suggested here so um again you could have lots of kind of nice fussy cut pieces and again you've got kind of a pretty pattern on the back you know something again that reminds me of um a william morris kind of pattern and then you've got this one here you've got again journal cards here and some pretty ovals again you could kind of layer them onto each other you don't have to kind of just use them individually you've got some script on the back and then here the kind of final page really is this collage page isn't it just gorgeous i love 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 it absolutely beautiful and then again on the back isn't this a pretty page just really really love that and then again you've got the inside of the back sheet and they've just kind of given you a bonus sheet there for you know you could use that for layering layering and you know matting and layering and things like that so yeah that's the spring botanic one um and i would just because i'm trying to be really good you know and keep these back in their packets um you know so that they stay nicely I mean, that um, previous one, the Precious, it seemed to have a lot of um, fussy cut elements like the journal cards and things like that. So that's quite a nice one um, for using, you know, if you like kind of lots of fussy cut type pieces and things like that. Then the final one, and this is the one that, as I say, I mean, it must be a really popular good seller um, because this is the one that actually I could find quite a bit about. And I was able to see kind of some close-ups and things in, you know, videos and things. So, yeah, this one's obviously very popular. So, this is the House of Roses. And it's, um, again, obviously the 10 sheets. So, on the inside of the front cover, you've got this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous page here. I mean, to be honest, it's a beautiful page. Just looks like it should be framed as it is, to be honest. Um, but with obviously this beautiful kind of climbing rose with the bird, you've got this lovely cracked wall, little kind of garden wall down there, just absolutely lovely. And obviously if you didn't want to use that, you've got here on the front, lots of elements there again. Then here on the facing page, whoops. again, we've got kind of a whole garden scene going on. So, I mean, again, you know, you could utilise this if you look at it and think, oh, I'm not sure how I'd use that. You could utilise it by cutting out elements, you know, I mean, like this chair with the bird, that would be so perfect for kind of a glue book or something like that. The same with the gates, they would just be lovely for a glue book. You don't have to use kind of the entire page, um, you know, you can kind of... Um, not tear it up but well you could tear it up but you know you can cut it down and use it as per how you fancy on the back it's just got that lovely brick wall and then we've got some journal cards which again how gorgeous are those journal cards just beautiful aren't they and then again they've got the kind of plain journal cards on the back then this page as well we've got a large kind of garden scene there so again you know if this kind of you know not scares you but you know you think oh that's very large images again you could cut all of these individual um bits out you know and kind of you know take them you don't have to cut it out as one big 
floral, you could take the pieces that you particularly want and then use them as individual elements. Particularly, I can't help but think glue book. You know, this screams glue book to me. Then we've got this page here, <clears throat> which again, I mean, how adorable is this? We've got the gorgeous like picket fence with the little bird house and the bird and the beautiful florals here. I've got more florals up there. Lots of nice, pretty pink um, background there. And look at that on the back. Isn't that just the most beautiful page? So yeah, this is a page that I would struggle to think, oh, which side do I want to use? Because I love the back and, you know, I love kind of the individual elements on here as well. So yeah, that would be a struggle when I come to use it. Hence another reason why I haven't really used any of these, to be honest. So this one again, lots of quite large images. So don't forget, these are 12 by 12 pads. So, I mean, obviously if you had the eight by eight size, these are going to be smaller anyway. Um, but you know, for me, these are 12 by 12, so they are quite large, um, you know, images and things. Don't forget, you could also cut these down and actually just use them as a page in your journal. So, I mean, that would be, you know, if you cut it down kind of to this sort of size, you know, this height, that would be a page on its own in your journal. So, you know, the, you've got lots of different options with these. And then on the back, you've again got very similar to this one with the pretty florals. Then here we've got this gorgeous clock. So absolutely beautiful. Again, it's massive. So again, I feel like I would struggle, obviously, to use this clock. Um, but, you know, you can always just use sections of it. I mean, you could cut it into quarters. You could cut just the roses off. You could even cut just these little individual, um, you know, number sections out. So, you know, you really don't have to kind of use the entire clock. I mean, it seems wicked to cut it up in that way because it's so pretty on its own. Um, but if you're struggling to use it, I guess it's better to use it in a different form than just not use it. So, oh gosh, I mean, honestly, can you believe I'm saying these things? I'm saying them because my brain's telling me that's what I think. My heart tells me, obviously, oh no, don't cut it up at all. Just continue to hoard it. On the back, we've got this gorgeous um, wood and the florals over. So again, just scrummy, isn't it? Then here, again, lots of quite large florals, really, really pretty. And then again on the back, I mean, that just looks like something that's come off the jelly plate, doesn't it? <laughs> Better than my jelly prints that I do, but absolutely lovely. And then here again, <coughs> we've got this lovely sort of lined piece with lots of florals and things around the edge. So, you know, again, they are quite large. This is a 12 by 12 paper pad. But again, you know, I would probably use this by cutting out the florals and things rather than using it, you know, as a kind of complete sheet. Um, and that's the reverse. And then here we've got whoops, a planar sheet. So it's quite plain on this side. You've just got this kind of tree kind of detail up in the corner. Personally, I'd much prefer this side, so I would probably be inclined to use the pink side more. Um, you know, just, yeah, I, I quite love pink. So, yeah, this for me is kind of more my, my type of thing, really. So, absolutely gorgeous page there. Then we've got a sheet of tags with, again, some circular tags down the bottom. But again, just so, so pretty, aren't they? And then on the back, we've just got this pretty kind of leaf pattern. And then on the inside of the back cover, so again, I mean, you've got that gorgeous little clock here as a tiny little thumbnail piece. So you could always cut that out. If you didn't fancy cutting all around it, you could cut out the squares. You know, you can really kind of play around with this. And then on this side, you've got these kind of, um, I'm assuming that's roof tiles, but I could be wrong. I mean, I guess it could be plant pots piled up. I think it's roof tiles. Um, <laughs> who knows? I think it is roof tiles. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, I'm not that keen on the roof tiles, although I can see how they look really pretty, you know, when you kind of pair them with, say, the leaves. Um, I probably prefer the thumbnails on this particular one. Um, but yeah, so that is the um, House of Roses uh, scrapbook pad or scrapbook paper so yeah I just wanted to come along and show you those because obviously you know I will probably start using these quite soon well I mean I say that maybe just one of them and maybe just even one sheet, one sheet but 
I thought just before I actually start using any of them, I should come along and kind of share them with you just because if you're like me, you may have been looking for these and not actually be able to find any kind of in-depth looks, you know, look at them. Um, so yeah, I hope that you like them. I got mine from a website called Craftelia um dot com and that is in spain so i did have to wait quite a while for the um postage you know for the delivery um but they have an amazing selection of things on there and it's not bad prices either um so yeah that's kind of where i got mine i'm sure they you know are available in all sorts of places but that was just you know that happened to be where i picked mine up from but it was you know quite a long time ago so but thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon Thanks then. Bye.